So for project number one, I want to show you a really easy way to upcycle some old bric-a-brac from the thrift store. I found this super cute, uh, I don't really know what it is, weird bucket thing from a thrift store and initially I was planning to make a candle out of it, kind of like the one I made a few videos back. I'll link that now if you want to check it out. But that twisty handle man, I just thought it would be really cute to grow a plant up it. So I specifically chose Senecchio Variegated, also known as like Wax Ivy, because they're technically a succulent, so they don't need too much water, which is really good with funky planters that don't have drainage, because too much water equals root rot, so you want plants that don't need watering too often. My first step was to use some broken crockery at the base of my, I'm just going to call it an urn. <laughs> so this is just to give a little drainage space for the soil. You can use rocks for this. I just tried to upcycle things and I had a broken plant pot that I wanted to use. After that, I very gracelessly pulled my ivory from its loving home and repotted it into my urn. Then I gave it a very, very light water to help everything settle. I trailed some of the longer stems around the handle and voila! finished. Project number two is also plant based because I bloody love plants. Now this is a super practical way to use ornate photo frames and display climbing plants around your home. So my first step was to pick up some cute frames from the thrift store and plastic gutter guard from the hardware store. Uh, this is super cheap by the way, the gutter guard was like $4. So I removed the backing of the photo frame and the glass and everything. Once it was literally just the frame, I measured out a piece of the gutter guard to fit, then snipped it and spray painted it gold. Now, look, if you have a staple gun, you can just staple the mesh, like, to the frame. I didn't, so I just hot glued it in and it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, that's literally it. You can mount this on your wall and clip any plants you like to it. It's really cute. It's really functional. I actually have a bigger version of this using a garden trellis that's been spray painted gold for one of my large photo frames and I initially used it as like a trellis memo board and had it on top of my desk but now I use it as a DIY like flower and herb drying board and I think that's a really cute use for it as well. And project three is a dinky little Ikea hack, but you can just use whatever mirror you have lying around. So all you need are some acrylic paints and a fine brush. My first step was honestly just to do some practice. I paint very rarely and I'm actively bad. So I came up with a few ideas for very, very basic flowers and vines. Once I had a few easy ideas to fall back on, I painted a very simple design onto my mirror. As you can see, most of the flowers are actually made up from brush dabs rather than like painting or strokes or anything complicated. So if you're a total beginner painter, you can use that technique too. Our fourth project, okay it's kind of cheating but whatever, so I found this beautiful pressed glass frame, again from the thrift store, this is a super fucking cute one up the road from us and I appreciate it deeply. So I picked up these beautiful art prints from Jenny's Paper Craft Co that are just so dreamy. Um, By the way, if you want to DIY Pantone art prints yourself you should definitely check out my video, I'll link that now. But yeah, I got these really cute art prints, I got some pressed flowers, I arranged everything and then I sealed that frame shut. Again, this one's kind of cheating because it was really easy but I think it turned out super cute. Okay, my next two projects are low-key cheating because I made TikTok tutorials on them but they just fit the vibe so well that I wanted to chuck them into this compilation. 
first is just a really easy way to upcycle old beer bottles into vases. And second is a way to make really cute herbariums. I have loads of these on my window and they just look so stunning when they catch the light. <laughs> 